Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're going to be talking about everything XRP. We're going to be taking a look at the latest XRP news today and we'll also be taking a look at the price action and technical analysis of XRP as well. As I get into this video if you find it useful and informative hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. If you have not yet joined us in Discord links in the description down below. Below. It's a fantastic community and you know they talk crypto 24-7. I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there. Okay, guys, let's get into this, right? So uh, obviously we're going to talk a little bit about you know the downfall that we've kind of seen here. Now, this is very much aligned to what we've been talking about previously on all the other XRP technical analysis videos, um, but also the crypto space, right? We have a huge pullback and we did see XRP pull back down relatively significantly here at 33 cents, a little bit deeper than I actually originally was thinking XRP was going to go. I kind of was thinking maybe the 40 cent range was going to hold. Uh, it hasn't. And obviously we did fall back down towards this low range. Now the actual low here, according to Binance, uh, does actually come in at 33.61 cent. Uh, now, obviously on the back of that, you can see that uh, basically the decline here, um, basically, you know, to 37, actually we have it a little bit lower than that, 33.61. Um, but as basically the whales were moving 440.3 million XRP, right? Um, so pretty significant as that kind of price fell down. Um, again, this wasn't actually unusual. This is pretty much aligned to the rest of the crypto space. Um, so, you know, it isn't anything that we were necessarily, you know, kind of thinking was going to happen. You know, it was a little bit deeper than we, we were kind of estimating things to go. Um, but for the most part, we're in a very un predictable wave at the moment and I'll go through that towards the end of the video in terms of the TA side of things and um, so it isn't too uh, un, you know unusual to see large amounts move around as people are able to take advantage and build pretty decent positions as the price pulls back down and for that matter I still think there's a little bit more volatility still to be had here as well and um, so yeah 440 million moving around there not uh, not necessarily um unexpected but again you know it can it can hurt unsuspecting retail investors uh, obviously as we move on here we can obviously talk about the rebound so um, very much aligned to kind of you know that low we, we obviously rallied quite hard right so uh, the price does move up it doesn't just move in straight lines so we saw a, a 38.6 percent rally after hitting those lows so although this article was talking about 20 percent uh, essentially um, it was actually 38.6 so a significant bounce a little bit higher than than maybe people were thinking um, and then obviously we pull back down and I still expect us to move on up. We have the potential here to move up a little bit higher, uh, even though we are seeing some volatility at the moment. And um, so, you know, also, you know, the Ripple's answer to the SEC assertion over Hinman emails um, expected as well. So it's going to be interesting to kind of see how this kind of plays out, um, you know, specifically with the lawsuit. And I think there's a huge um you know expectations on the ripple versus sec or the sec versus ripple and and all of that kind of good stuff now i'm not going to kind of through all of this in detail um, but essentially earlier in the lawsuit the sec had gone ahead uh, to make a uh, to make new privilege assertions in its continued efforts to avoid the release of emails related to the 2018 ethereum speech um, i think most people are familiar with this if you're following the the, the case quite closely and um you know, basically Ripple's defendants uh, then sought uh, additional time to file their response to the SEC's uh, renewed assertions over the former SEC uh, official emails. Um, so it's going to be interesting to kind of see how all this plays out and, um, you know, to kind of see what happens next now as we kind of come on to the next piece here uh you know parties file for extension of the deadline of the mets report and um, so you know the de the word deadline gets bounced around a fair amount when it comes to the the uh, ripple and sec lawsuit um it's something that unfortunately is something that we're probably not going to see really too much of in 2022 uh, i think seems to be pushing more towards 2023 unless of course you know there's some kind of settlement and agreements that have had between the sec and ripple of course beforehand i just think that um yeah, as time progresses, you know, that, that isn't necessarily um, going to happen anytime soon. With that being said, though, where we are in terms of the entire crypto space right now, actually you wouldn't want, um, you know, a settlement or a victory at this point. Uh, you'd want this to come once there's actually a decent amount of momentum in the space already. You want it to kind of come uh, right at that moment where you have uh, maximum kind of uh, crypto adoption and retail investors are flooding into the space. I mean, the hype that you can build up behind XRP at that particular critical moment would be be significantly higher in my opinion and um, so 
I'm not again not really going to go through this uh, in too much uh, details, uh, or too, too, too much detail here. I really leave that for other people who are following the case a little bit closer than maybe I am myself. Um, but I do think it's important that we kind of understand that you know there are going to be some extensions uh, for for obvious reasons that are going to need to have some time to kind of uh, you know, put this out there and kind of actually review everything and make sure they have their responses um, actually more meaningful, right? And they can articulate their responses incredibly well. So I think it's important that we do actually have that that time to to do so. Obviously, uh, extensions are extensions and they're not the best, um, but yeah, they are what they are. Um, so let's go ahead and actually jump into some technical analysis. What do we actually think XRP is is going to be doing, you know, uh, going further forward? We obviously have extreme volatility right now, and um, I am expecting Bitcoin to pull back down. So I would expect XRP to pull back down as well. However, um, nothing moves down in straight lines and we're actually looking for a bit of a move to the upside. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Uh, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll just take a look at this hourly chart here for XRP. XRP, right? And we are tracking some kind of big move coming up. And this is actually labeled up as an A wave. We have the B wave coming down and we could be looking at some kind of C wave. Now, the kind of minimum that I would be looking for here would be 46.58. And um, which would put it there and the maximum side of things would be about 54.9 okay so those are the two kind of levels here now uh, if we actually have this as a sub wave count and we were to go ahead and track this we might actually find ourselves somewhere in between the two okay so if we grab hold of our sub wave count what we actually end up with here is some kind of a this being some kind of b and then we should look to move on up again this actually brings us right up into that area uh, of 46.5 so again that actually does make that the most probable outcome and therefore we should be very conservative over our thinking here uh, with where XRP is potentially likely to go. I think there's an upper limit. Um, and at the moment, that is uh, that is actually appearing to be 46.59. Now, as we bring the stochastic RSI into play here, you can see that there's, uh, we've moved this actually a fair amount on the chart, right, from oversold, uh, just coming out of the oversold area now without doing too much price movement. Now, if we throw the volume on, uh, you can see that basically as we started to move the price up, the volume dropped down and um, so that sentiment is telling us oh, that that basically tells us that the sentiment is not to buy it is to sell uh, and again this is confirmed again when the price moves down you can see volume slightly increasing there now obviously these are tiny tiny volumes anyway um, no one's really getting too actively involved right now um, nothing like we had seen previously over this end right where there was a mass sell-off event here uh, once bitcoin changes its direction and starts to pull back though um, i would expect that that increased selling pressure to occur but for now i did, would expect a slight increase here as we head up towards 46.59 okay but we'll check the other time frames we can see the four hourly is coming down a bit um, again we might just reverse back up as we had done previously and um, just to kind of take then hit those technical levels before pulling back but it is also possible that you know we don't have that high and we actually just see this come on down into these lower ranges before eventually rallying on up and it could be that that b wave just over here it hasn't actually finished yet and there's an abc structure taking us down further so there's a couple of different ways of looking at it uh, we're open to various different ideas at the moment um, but essentially you know we have got this uh, overbought so st stochastic RSI on the eight hour and so long term we are thinking there's going to be over the course of probably a week or so and uh, some kind of downward action that's going to basically allow us to bottom out here on XRP and um, now the large time frames are perfectly fine I'm not concerned over those if we take a look at the daily you can see that can come down again that would be aligned to the eight hour um, but the weekly is actually really good and so is the monthly those two are actually in a really good spot but these larger time frames these daily and eight hourly time frames even the four hourly they do look like they need to have some kind of corrective play uh, to come back down now as i come and actually bring this back up into our daily just zoom this back down again uh, one of the things that we obviously been talking about for a while is the elliott wave triangle that's just inside this B wave. Um, basically, we are tracking an E wave at the moment, and it's very, very inconsistent. Um, and it, you know, it, it, at the moment, it's still an E wave, but it could break out of an E wave structure if it were to turn into an impulsive structure going down, for example. Um, and, uh, and arguably, we're right on the cusp of that. And um, but for the most part, you know, I'm looking at this, and I'm hoping that we actually start to see some form of um, bottom. If we can get a double bottom around this 33.61, for example, that would allow us then to actually start to see some kind of confidence information of the bottom and then start to move on up here however we should also be aware that you know in considering the many altcoins are now 90 percent less from their highs um if we take uh, xrp's high here uh, we can see that essentially you know we have only dropped down 82 percent 
uh, meaning that there's a significant drop still to potentially come here. As I think about lowering this down into these lower ranges, where does 90% really come into play? That puts us at about 19 cent. Um, and it's possible that potentially you even come all this way down here and test this low point that we had previously, uh, previously at 17 cent. And if that does come in like that, and it does actually come in, that is the opportunity in my mind where we can start to really build big positions, right? Um, if XRP was to crash down to 17 cent, that is the point where we were, you know, 20 20 December where um, basically Clayton had actually dropped the lawsuit we were buying this dip this is where me and Chris were buying XRP I mean the majority of it was actually bought earlier than that um, but for the most part this is this is a fantastic opportunity that we took advantage of back in 2020, right? And um, so if XRP does come down here and goes to that 91% retracement level, then that is the accumulation to be had, right? And it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And um, so do watch out for those things. Now, obviously, we're talking about lows. We have to watch that. If, of course, we are talking about coming down here, that's no longer an E-wave, in my opinion, unless, of course, there's a significant way of actually measuring this as a bounce, right? It should be kind of, you know, a decent kind of bounce upwards and um, so as i said right if we were to see this actually come up into that kind of 54 cent range then pull back down then i could see that as a big a wave uh, sorry a big uh, e wave coming down lower if however we don't get that and we just continue to break down then uh, for me that would not be the best outlook here um, for xrp so we should be super cautious on that uh, we should definitely be thinking about accumulation and you know dollar cost averaging anything less than 80 percent from the highs makes sense for most retail investors to slowly start to dollar cost average but obviously i'm not a financial advisor i cannot give you financial advice and uh, nothing in this video is uh you know should actually be treated as financial advice at all it's just my thoughts and opinions on what i think is going on in terms of the charts and of course what is going on in the news for xrp today so um i'm gonna leave the video there guys if you have found this useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with all that said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one